Welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I have so many exciting items to share with you guys today. It's just crazy, 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 crazy how I can never catch up. Just when I think that I'm not finding anything, I find that I have so much stuff, I don't even know where to begin. So first of all, I want to share with you guys the Dunkaroo cereal. And truth be told, I really don't need any more cereal. I honestly don't. But when I see cereal for $1.25, I can't pass it up. When my son saw this cereal, he was like, that looks really good. Also, you know what I wanted to show you guys, which is kind of another reason why I couldn't pass these up? Have you guys seen this cereal and looked at the back of it? It says, that was then, this is now. The snack you loved to dunk in the 90s is making a mega comeback right into your cereal bowl. Uh, okay. And it says, mobile phones, 1992, a brick in your hand. 2021, a smart computer in your pocket. So true. Then it says watching movies. Um, 1992, renting VHS tapes. 2021, streaming from every device. I still use um, actually CDs and DVDs. Then it says sharing photos. 1992, photos from disposable cameras. Do you guys not remember how much fun those were? Because the pictures sucked from those cameras, but we always took them and bought those cameras and developed. Oh my God. I hated taking pictures. I believe that that's why I had a phobia for many years. I hardly have any pictures of myself because I looked awful in those pictures always. And, um, in 2021, we make instant uploads. So true. Then it says music, 1992, making mixtapes and buying CDs. I'm so still in the, in, the, in the 1992 category, you guys. And it says 2021, playlists at your fingertips. That's true. I still can make playlists from my CDs, though, on my computer, and then burn it <laughs> and listen to that CD, which I still sometimes do in the summer. 1992 secret pager codes. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Look, it shows like hello, LOL. Remember, we used to do that with our beepers. <laughs> oh, my God. And then it says 1992 hanging at the arcade, 2021 hanging out online. Well, that is what I'm doing, too. So, um, yeah, I love it. And then it says pop quiz hotshot. Let's see just how well you remember the decade of Dunkaroos, jelly shoes, video stores, and grunge. It says match the 90s slang to the correct meaning. All that and a bag of chips, home skillet. Oh my God, that's right. Uh, talk to the hand as if, fly, sup, and whack. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. And it actually gives us the answers. As if we need them. Um, sup with that. That's whack, guys. <laughs> so I think I did pretty good. And you guys could be my home skillets. <laughs> This is hilarious. These are those times, you guys. Yes. Have you guys seen these? I mean, what is going on? Why are they not cotton? That is my only complaint, but they'll get it together eventually. I, I can't I can't complain anymore because the Dollar Tree just does whatever they want whenever they want to. And it's all good. But here we see, look at this. They're getting really slick. They were like, wow, this this print that we came up with is so nice that we're going to really lure them in by giving them two towel choices. So I had to, absolutely had to buy both. They were right to do it, you guys, because I normally like to have two towels in my kitchen, one by the sink and one by the oven to wipe my, because I'm a slob and clumsy and I need to constantly wipe my hands. And I love that they have like coordinating. You can literally even buy this and put it in your kitchen. And maybe if you have like a guest bathroom off your kitchen, which a lot of people do, like by their back exit door, um, you could put these in your bathroom as like, I don't know. I kind of love that they did this. It's really inspiring me to believe that they're going to be doing even more amazing things. And then the pot holders are amazing. Look at that. And here is the oven mitt. So I bought two sets of oven mitts, which gives me four, because I'm going to send some to my aunt. I do every year, and my mother-in-law. And I bought two sets of um, pot holders and four of the kitchen towels all together, because I cannot resist their, I can't. Their kitchen linens, especially the spring ones, 
always get me. Along those same lines for gifting purposes, I picked up a few of the Spring Makes Me Smile. Um, you guys, when I saw this, Spring made me yell. I was, scr I was like, what in the world is that? Oh my God. And the crazy thing is when I first saw these in the store, I found a set of these pot holders without this thing on it, just thrown on a shelf. And I was like, I don't remember ever seeing those. Are these old? Are they like an inventory gem? I hadn't yet even seen anyone hold them because by the time I hold things, I've already seen them for a long time. I am a procrastinator of the worst procrastinators from a long line of procrastination. But when it comes to shopping, I don't skip a beat, guys. I'm out there all the time. So I saw these before I even saw anyone haul them. And I was like, why didn't I ever see those? I'm so upset. I, if they are old, by the way, they were in my cart with no hand, no tag, no nothing. I was like, I don't care if they're used. I need those in my life. They're so nice. I could just, and I was thinking, oh, I'm going to get the teal plain oven mitt and the teal plain dish drying rag. And I'll just kind of make a set out of that. And then as I walked around the store, I found them and I was like, oh my God, I am so happy because I mean, these colors are the colors that live in my happy place. This is the color. This is my happy place right here. It's not really like a buffalo check. It's kind of like a gingham, which is what I love because I believe all gingham exists in kitchens. It's so right, like retro and happy. And this color is super retro. This is Pioneer Woman all the way. Yes. And I think that I love the idea of taking these and like pairing them with like magenta in your kitchen. Something fun and like bright colored, like orange pots or like magenta colored pots. How cute is that? I love the Pioneer Woman vibe. I like a lot of colors and it to be like really boho and like bold in a way, which is kind of, I think, what Pioneer Woman is and crazy florals. So I love everything. I mean, I just can't. My heart belongs to this spring makes me smile. And I think even in my video, I said spring makes me happy. And then I said later, Marina, it doesn't say that. But I couldn't help it because it does say spring makes me smile. But it makes me happy to own these. The towel is microfiber, but I saw past that immediately. I don't care. So I bought four of the microfiber towels two of the oven mitts. No, I think I got four oven mitts, four towels, and two pot holders because that makes a set for me. I like to have two pot holders because you get two in the pack, two oven mitts, and two towels when I try to make a set for people. So yeah, I love these. Cannot say enough about them. Then they also made this adorable set that says can't touch this with these cacti all over them. And they also have the pot holders which are super duper cute, and the towel. And I picked these up as a gift as well to a friend of mine that collects all sorts of cactus plants and succulents. And I know that they will love this. You guys must have seen these in my shorts video and in my walkthrough if you do follow my channel. And I picked up tons of these. Um, at first I didn't, and then I went back and I picked up tons of them. Um, they still had more on the shelf because these are amazing Easter basket stuffers. And I would like to have a decent amount to donate to a minimal, uh, um, like there's one shelter that I donate things to that accepts 30 items or less. And I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get that many because I put feelers out in a lot of stores and they're getting these. So if I get 10 here, 10 there, I could get 30 at least. And those will be really nice for certain shelters. So... Um, what this is, is by DreamWorks Trolls World Tour, brand name. It doesn't say Greenbrier anywhere back there because these are the legit ones that sold somewhere else, probably Walmart for like $8.90 something or $9 something. And they are jumbo lip balm and mango flavor, which is pretty darn cool, or in strawberry flavor. And this one has Poppy and the other characters whose names I do not know. And then this one also has Poppy and some of the other characters. But if you buy both of the packages, you get two Poppies and a bigger assortment of characters. It's not everybody from Trolls, but it's a nice handful. And then you, what you do is you switch out the tops on the 
um, chapsticks or you use them as finger puppets. But honestly, kids are just going to love looking at the trolls figures if they love trolls. And they'll smush up the chapsticks like all kids do. But the point is they enjoy it for the moment. And for $1.25, of course, it's a good deal. I just want you guys to know that I am thoroughly impressed with these. For the very small price of $1.25, I feel that the quality of these sets, specifically in this box collection, I think there's one more, actually. I don't know what in the world I did with it, um, are equal to the little bags that you can get at the Lego store. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but those are like typically anywhere from... $5.99 to $11.99. They don't have figures in them, but these do. And uh, they're usually like a little vehicle or a little accessory or something, uh, some type of a little creature, but they're not cheap and you don't get that much. I feel that these are comparable. At $1.25, you do get a little figure and a pretty decent vehicle. My son, who is like a super avid Lego person, said those are really a great deal for $1.25 for the kids. You should get a million of those. I wish I could. I've gone on their website. I've put the SKU number in. They were briefly available in bulk. I missed the boat on that. So now I've been scouring the stores, buying up as many as I can. They must have come for Christmas and we didn't get them during the Christmas season. So now it's just hit or miss. A lot of stores got their deliveries late. You can get this uh, tractor. It says farm and the farmer. Great, great buy, guys. These are really very, very cool. And it actually moves. And then um, they also have the fire department truck available and a fireman. I mean, come on, guys. A buck and a quarter. This right here will make a kid's Easter basket for real. Little kids love these things. I need to find a ton of these. And then the um, army tank actually does not come with a figure, which is like weird, right? I don't know why. Isn't that weird? This one is 79 pieces. This one is 90 pieces. And this one is 81 pieces. Comes with the figure, comes with the figure, no figure. Unless... I have not actually opened one. Maybe it's in there and he's inside the tank. What do you guys think? Do you think he's in there? Why would they do that to just the tank loving kid? <laughs> We're going to open this and find out if there's a figure in here also. But I don't think there is. No. That's so weird, right? Nope. But you see what I mean? It's even separated into multiple bags how Lego separates it. So it's a little easier to put together because historically these are not that easy to put together. But the fact that they separated the components into separate bags actually makes the instructions a little bit more legible because there is that best lock is still not Lego. And it does have the um, stickers for the tank but no army guy. Oh, well. I guess the army one is so popular they didn't need to put a figurine in it. I don't know. It's weird that they did that. Sometimes, again, like I said, the Dollar Tree does whatever it wants when it wants to. And we're here for it. Because we're like, it's okay. I still want it. This haul, like many of my other hauls, is just a hodgepodge of whatever is next on the big pile of stuff on top of my table. If I were to show you guys a picture right now of what my table looks like, you would be like, what is wrong with you? It is a big mountain of Dollar Tree goodness. So I found this book and um, it does have this back cover, I guess, because there's no barcode. Yeah, it has this little sleeve on the back of the book, which is the barcode, because this book itself is like a piece of art, you guys. Look, it says rejoice. Would have been nice if this came for Christmas. And then on the back cover, it says, it's the most wonderful time of the year. But I love, I, I might literally cannibalize this book and frame it. I love that. That is so pretty to put in a frame. And I love this as well to put in a frame. I just think they're beautiful. But then when you open the book up, everything in here could be Christmas crafting like it's practically like scrapbook paper for a dollar 25 let me show you guys look at this right here you could use that for crafting 
It's a cute book though, which is why I had to pick up two because I just don't know. I'm going to definitely send one to my friend Constance because she may want to cut this up and do crafting with it. She's like obsessed with paper crafting. I thought she might like to actually use some of the paper in this book for Christmas crafting. Look at that, beautiful. What the book actually is, is like a bunch of quotes. Now here's one. Each page or each two pages are a quote and like a beautiful scrapbook type paper. And, he, and you could do something with the quote as well. I don't know, but I see crafting in a lot of people's futures for this book. Um, it says, each Christmas, I remember the fragrance in the air of roasting turkey and mince pies and cookies everywhere. Each Christmas finds me longing for Christmas is now past. And I am back in childhood as long as memories last. Carice Williams. That's a really, really pretty poem, I think it is. And this one I love. I love this one. I, I can't say this enough. Blessed is the season which engages the world in a conspiracy of love. Hamilton Wright Mobby. It's so true. Christmas is this thing, this movement, this energy that creates goodness. It's just sad that we can't have that year round, that people can't be that way every day. I guess it takes a lot out of some people. <laughs> That's all I know. I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. Oh my God, I just said that and I didn't know. Ebenezer Scrooge from A Christmas Carol. I almost cried. <laughs> so, oh boy, okay, time to close this book. But I love it. Isn't that a cute book? Yep, Constance is probably gonna love this book too. I had to, I had to buy it. It's just beautiful to just even put, put it in your bathroom at Christmas time and people can thumb through it while they're, you know, busy. But either way, I just think it's a great book. I love it. I picked up a couple of these dog bowls with the cute little heart dog bone and paw print because you know those collapsible dog bowls that the Dollar Tree was selling that had the um, carabiner attached to them for travel? I decided to just use those as dog bowls for the dogs to just put their food in and then when they weren't eating, just collapse them, clean them, put them on the counter. Well, I made the mistake of leaving them on the ground for like five seconds after they were done eating and Max like shredded them to pieces. He practically ate the dog bowls. So I picked these up for that. He can't destroy these. He destroys every dog bowl I've picked up lately. He just, he's a chewer and he's a puppy and he's a lot. The funny thing is that whenever Max does anything like that, I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe he did this again. When is this dog gonna learn? And my husband is like, he did it by accident. He didn't know because he just wants me to be like, it's okay, Max, you destroy everything. You eat every shoe. It's okay. You went to obedience school and still don't always go outside to use the bathroom. It's okay. And then Chris was like, accident, schmaccident. He doesn't do anything by accident. So then we started calling them Maxidents. So when Max like destroys everything or we find him in the garbage can, literally, Max has been in, the, knocked the garbage can over, took everything in the garbage can out. And I have a big garbage can. <laughs> and then laid inside of the garbage can as he was laying eating. I just, you can't make it up. And he's a white dog, guys. So he was covered in spaghetti and then he had to have a maxident bath and he doesn't like those either. And it, it was not fun. He is a lot to handle. He's a really sweet dog, but he's a lot to handle. And he drives Mabel absolutely crazy because Mabel is very low key. She doesn't like a lot of interaction and Max is always pestering her and he's always like, come on, let's go do bad things. And Mabel's like, I'm just an old lady. I don't want to do none of that. I'm in the prime of my life. Leave me alone. I'm not like you. But Max is like, yes, yes, you are. And then anytime that Max does something to get Mabel involved in it, it's never good. Now, speaking of the dogs, I've seen people hold these and I saw them at the Dollar Tree the other day and I was like, am I missing out on something because I've seen people holding them? Now, please, please do not yell at me and tell me that I'm a snob, but my dogs can't talk to me. I do buy a lot of things from the Dollar Tree, but not everything. And when it comes to my dogs, I feed them kind of high end, no grain salmon dog food. Um, 
blue, I actually feed my dogs blue buffalo that I order, which is not cheap because Mabel, who is a Boston Terrier, has a very, very sensitive stomach. Max, like I said, can eat the garbage, literally, but I don't want them to feel left out, so I feed them both the exact same dog food. But Max kind of likes trashy stuff. So not that the Dollar Tree is trashy, please again, don't start yelling at me guys. But I said, this kind of looks like Max. Let me buy these. I've seen people haul these and maybe I'm missing out on something. You guys, my dogs will not even eat these. These don't even have a smell. Let me know in the, they're a Greenbrier product. And I gotta be honest, I'm never buying anything like this again. They don't even have a smell. The dogs won't eat them. So they're cute. I don't know if they're, but I know, I know a lot of people do buy these and you get a lot. I mean, this is a pound of dog treats for $1.25. It says that they're for dogs, multi-flavored dog biscuits, but they don't even have multi-scents. Uh, it says peanut, lamb, vegetable, chicken, and cheese. Big thumbs down. My dogs did not even go near them. They smelled it and walked away and even Mabel, she's a little picky. Well, if she doesn't like a treat at first, she'll rethink it later and go back and eat it. Max didn't even eat it. And Max lives in my trash can. Okay, so if you guys have been following my channel for a while, then you know I love sunglasses. Like, in a sick way. And I call that my sunglass sickness. But... Here's the thing, you guys. The other day when I went to the Dollar Tree, I died and went to sunglass heaven. Like I couldn't even believe the amount of sunglasses that I found. I've bought a lot of sunglasses and I've actually bought more sunglasses other times than I did this time for myself. But the two pairs of sunglasses that I'm going to show you guys or three that I'm going to show you guys that I found plus... The one that I found in my mailbox from my buddy Constance, who does have a channel of her own, and the name of her channel is Butterfly Mom's Creations and More. If you guys would believe the sunglasses, you guys aren't going to believe the sunglasses that she sent me. Um, now, she's had a lot of issues lately and a lot of hard times, and I, I've told her, please, there's nothing in the world that I want you to send me you know, let us take care of you for a while. You've been doing a lot for everyone, but I understand why she sent these to me and I value them more than any other sunglass that I have, but I'm not going to show them to you guys yet because that's how gorgeous they are. I'm going to show you guys all the sunglasses that I found the day that I came home to these sunglasses. Now, first of all, let's talk about these sunglasses. Okay, these do not have a label inside of them, but they are amazing. These look like they came straight out of the 50s. We have to get rid of this immediately. I hate that they're putting it there. They're doing it as a deterrent of people trying them on because of COVID, but which is understandable. But um, I love these sunglasses. Literally, I'm obsessed with them. I can't put them in my hair because my hair is already up, but I'm going to still try to do that because these literally were born to live in my hair. They're amazing. I love, love, I love these sunglasses. They are so, so cool. They look like vintage, mother of pearl, lucite, I don't know, amazingness. Loving those. Then, then I found these. And do you guys see, first of all, these are very heavy. They are made out of, and so are these. They're made out of some kind of really heavy, intense plastic that they're not a cheap sunglass. That's all I know. Their closures are really like, their closures are actually the same color metal as the sunglass, which is very uncommon. It's like a custom hinge. They're very beautiful. Take the tag right off of that right now and put these on. The color of these sunglasses makes them amazing. Like I actually dyed my hair. Okay, so this is, I actually chose a color um, slightly darker than what I usually dye my hair because I love these sunglasses so much. I was like, oh yes, I'm gonna dye my hair a little darker just so that those sunglasses will look really cool on me. And they do. I really 
love these sunglasses. Love them. I'll be wearing those a lot. Believe me. And then, nope, I'm not even going to share those yet. I picked these up. Beautiful. These are going to be donated. They're gorgeous. They have this metal at the top. Um, I bought a lot of sunglasses this time around to donate because they make great Mother's Day gifts. These are brand name sunglasses. These, you guys, are by the brand Chico's. Can you guys see that right there? I'm trying to get it to focus. There it is. Chico's. Go ahead on their website and take a look and see how much Chico sunglasses cost because they're not a buck and a quarter. Chico's is not a cheap store, even on clearance. Do you guys see the detail in that? That is a beautiful pair of classic black and white shades. I might keep a pair for myself, but I feel like I shouldn't. I feel like I should donate them all. I have plenty of sunglasses and that's a nice donation. That, that'll make a lady feel really good about herself. You, you guys know how I feel about sunglasses. A really great pair of sunglasses make all of your troubles melt away. Wow, when you have nothing to get a pair of Chico sunglasses given to you for Mother's Day, there's nothing better. Like, I know that these other ones are brand name, but I don't know who makes them. But when you're in a shelter and you get a pair of sunglasses that are by Chico's, you're like, wow, somebody donated something really nice to me. So that makes me crazy happy. I can get other black and white sunglasses and I'll be fine. I have plenty. But if I find more of those, you know I'm getting more of those. <laughs> then, you guys, I found the... Oh, I picked up four of these black and white sunglasses. I did buy a lot. They had tons of glasses. Tons and tons. I bought these as well. And these are also beautiful. Look at those. And look at the sides. And look at them. Just look at them. Just look at those. I might have to keep these. I'm not going to lie. I... I have a lot of sunglasses. I'm going to have to go through all the ones I have not yet worn and choose the ones I like the most, 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 and then give the rest away. I cannot keep everything. Cannot. If you guys, but I, I think I kind of need to keep these. These are beautiful. These I'm keeping. That's done. So I can't, I can't, it's a sickness, but I have a lot and I'm going to give a lot away. I promise you, I almost always never have more than 20 pairs of sunglasses at a time. If that makes anybody feel any better, I know that I don't have 20 pairs of heads, but I do usually have about 20 pairs of sunglasses because I do have like a rule. What comes in must go out. So I do donate things to the Salvation Army or I do, if they're brand new, just bring them directly to the shelters because the shelters are no longer accepting anything used at this time still. Speaking of sunglasses, who out there in my subscribers remembers Denise from Denise's Hauls? Please, please, please comment down below if you remember Denise from Denise's Hauls channel. There she does amazing hauls. She's just amazing. And then she disappeared off the internet. Well, she's back, you guys. And I am so excited because I love Denise. We started our channels out almost at the same time. And I really admired her. She's very composed and always has it together. She's like the opposite of me. But I love her so much for that because, you know, it's variety that's the spice of life. And she's a lot like me in the things that she likes. We just like them differently. So... If you remember Denise from Denise's Halls, please do go and look for her channel. I'm going to link it also in my description box. Go and resubscribe to her. Where are you people? She had like 2,700 subscribers and she started her channel back up again. So you guys need to go and say hello to your friend. And I was so excited to do the same. The reason I brought her up during sunglasses is because I love sunglasses and I love Denise. I'm just kidding. She just hauled some awesome sunglasses and they're very similar to, if not identical to these. No, I'm almost positive that they are like the third variation to these sunglasses. And um, these are Lane Bryant sunglasses. They're actually gorgeous. I don't usually like sunglasses that are aviators like this on my face. But I have to say that these are beautiful, but I bought them to donate because I'm very clumsy and these type of sunglasses, I immediately break hard case or not. But do you guys see that? They have bling. They have this really nice side arm that's like highly polished 
really sparkly and they have this like little basket weave type accent and most importantly they do have the little lane bryant logo these sunglasses usually are like 19.99 and up and to get them for a buck and a quarter you cannot beat that guys these are some nice shades then we have this pair which is like a rose gold pair with a peach handle also being donated i love them i think they're really beautiful I'm not going to show you guys every single pair of sunglasses that I bought because I actually bought about 30 pairs of sunglasses to donate to that one specific shelter. But I am going to show you guys a few more because let's not forget that I do have Constance's gift that she sent me, which is stupendous. Now, these are made in China, but it says so in French, which I find to be really interesting. It says en fait China, en fait mean made in China. And then the brand name of these sunglasses is A Sunny Place for Shady People. You guys see that? There it is. A Sunny Place for Shady People. I don't know who makes that brand, but it sounds good to me. And then look at the shape of these. These are like super square fun. I'm probably going to donate these two because I can't keep everything. So I'm not going to take the tag off of those. But I am going to share with you guys the pair that I literally dug in the Dollar Tree trenches for. If you watched my shorts video, you saw me bent down, digging them out of the middle of the... You know how they have those round things? And all the rude customers that like do not take anybody into consideration and just drop all the sunglasses into it and don't even pick them up. Like if you drop something in the store, pick it up. What's wrong with you? But all of the sunglasses were just dumped in there. And I was like, what is that red thing I see there? I need to further investigate these sunglasses. And I took off the tag because of course I'm keeping this pair. These are mine. Do you guys see these sunglasses? You guys, I, I almost cried when I saw these. I was like, I have reached sunglass nirvana. Like, I, I mean it. When I said that I died and went to sunglass heaven, I was like, I am in sunglass nirvana. All I have to do is pass this challenge and get these sunglasses out of that little thing and all is well in the world. And I do feel that way. And, and then when I saw that this pair was called a sunny place for shady people, I was like, Yes, I want to be in a sunny place for shady people. Shady, happy people in fun sunglasses like these. Yes. So now that you've seen the pair that I found and you see that I bought a ton to give away, I have to show you guys the pair that was waiting for me without much further ado at my door unexpectedly that I had mentioned to my friend Constance Wow, did you guys see the Twisted Gypsy? She just found the most beautiful pair of sunglasses. When she pulled those out of her bag, I almost dropped dead, Constance. And Constance was like, are you talking about the pink ones? And I was like, yeah, they're gorgeous. And she was like, I know, but it's so like hard to find the sunglasses, isn't it? Like they're random. What is the likelihood? I said, I, I know I'm never gonna find those sunglasses. And then I had another friend of mine, Tanya, um, Southern Mimi, she sent me a message as well and was like, if you ever see those sunglasses, please get me a pair. And in my head, I was like, I'm never going to see those sunglasses, but I'll look for them. Do you guys know that Constance found them in South Carolina? Yes, ma'ams, she did in South Carolina find me these baby pink bad boys. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't, I cannot. I can't handle how nice they are. Do you guys see them? I mean, I mean, seriously, I'm taking off the little UV thing now. She actually took all the tags off when she shipped them to me because she didn't want them to get scratched up and she put them in like the perfect box and she took so much care and I just love the hell out of Constance. That was so nice. She could have kept these for herself, not for nothing. They're not easy to come by. I'm sure we won't, between all of us, we're not going to see another pair of these, but I truly feel blessed that she gave me these. And that is why I just adore Constance and I would send her anything under the sun ever. Absolutely love these sunglasses. I'm so lucky and blessed. Really and truly, I am. I love my YouTube family, the friends that I've made through YouTube. And um, 
I just even feel so happy. And on the same day that I came home to those sunglasses, it was that night that Denise restarted her channel. And I'm like, oh my God, the universe is opening all of these doors to this really awesome community of beautiful people. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just so happy lately. I don't know what more to say. I feel really grateful that the weather's starting to get a little nicer. I'm not going to lie. It was a beautiful day out today. And that has a lot to do with my mood because I'm going to get to use my sunglasses on my face more often as opposed to on my head. Now, Moving on with this haul, because I could spend hours on sunglasses, but I'm going to share with you guys some more really fun items for kids' Easter baskets. I've been focusing a lot on that right now because, um, well, because that's what's coming into the Dollar Tree, but also because during Easter, I don't do so much stuff for the women. I like to do stuff for Easter baskets or spring giveaways for kids. Um, just because I feel like they're suffering through the winter, it's cold and miserable, they're in school, they're, you know, they do midterms around the spring, spring break, and I feel like they could use stuff, even if they're not Christian or have like an Easter background faith, I don't care, I like to see kids happy, and they're, usually it comes around the time that they get a school break, and I just feel like they've earned it. I love these Popping Buddies by Brush Buddies, they are absolutely adorable toothbrushes, and they're hidden inside of these cute little characters. There's an elephant. Do you guys see how cute that is? I have bought probably about 100 of these. I buy them all over the place. Um, stores get cases and cases of these, so it's not a big deal. And then I did get a bunch of the tiger and of the cute, cute frog. I mean, what little kid wouldn't love that? So adorable. Then the lion. For the kids that really don't like brushing their teeth and roar back at you. And then it does a body good. I think that these toothbrushes are actually really great for kids who don't like brushing their teeth. I feel like the actual act of pushing the button and having the brush buddies pop out makes them enjoy brushing their teeth more. It gives it like a little fun little thing to it and makes it almost like playtime. So, I mean... Who doesn't love that? I'm not normally a puzzle buying person, but I did come across a couple of really cool puzzles that I had to buy. This one is first of all round, which is already cool, but it's of the Zodiac wheel. Isn't that interesting? So I kind of feel like, and the size is 14 inches. So I was thinking that when I do upcycle something, like they have even tables at five and below that are round backyard tables. I was thinking that maybe I would put this in it and then get a piece of glass because they sell 14 inch round glass in a lot of places. Usually you could get it really cheap and then put a piece of glass over it and it would be like a Zodiac table. Um, so I probably have a 14 inch round piece of glass in my shed. So when summer comes, I'm probably totally making that. And I probably will put it under the little cover on my deck so it doesn't get soaking wet. But if you put dishwasher safe Mod Podge all over this and then you put the glass over it, more than likely it's not even going to get wet. So isn't that so cool? I can't wait to make that. I think it's going to be a really fun little conversation piece. Then I found this puzzle and anything that I find with butterflies, I just feel compelled to send to Constance because she loves everything butterflies and she's a crafter. So she might just do a DIY with this, but I had to pick it up for her. This, this print is called Butterfly Twins. So pretty, right? Isn't it beautiful? After sharing this book in one of my walkthroughs, I felt compelled to go back and get this. And um, it says, we're just not that into you. Dating disasters from the trenches. And on the back, it says, Dancing with the Stars pro Karina Smirnoff believed her then boyfriend when he said that the bag of condoms she found in his suitcase belonged to one of his buddies and that he just was holding them for a friend. He wasn't. Now, this book was written by Karina Smirnoff and her best friend, Lindsay Riley. The book goes on on the back to say, In We're Not Just That Into You, Karina and her best friend, and manager Lindsay Riley dish about their dating escapades with A-listers and average Joes. 
the craziest pickup lines that you've ever heard, and the unbelievable moves guys have tried to land them both. So um, I wonder if Ralph Macchio is one of them because he's quoted on the back of the book. I once said that if you could put Karina and Lindsay together, you would have the perfect woman. Uh-oh. Well, together they've written the perfect book. It's hilarious, lighthearted, and delivers an insightful glimpse into the minds of how women feel about guys in dating. So I thought this would make good gifts for some women that I know that are still dating. So I picked up a few of these for them. Being that it is Valentine's month, I thought that they might actually enjoy this and have some good laughs out of it. For those of you who follow my channel, you've noticed that everywhere I go, there are boxes and boxes of belts. So being that I run a charity, I can't resist to buy something that is useful. I have so many belts, probably 100 at this point. Every store has cases and cases of belts. They're just dumped in bins. You have to literally dig to look through them to find the quality ones. Most of the stores just don't have the space to display them properly. But um, I'm not going to show 100 belts. I'm going to share with you guys some of my personal faves and the ones that I'm definitely keeping for me and my friend Kathy. I think that this belt specifically is probably one of my absolute favorite finds. This belt is made of real leather and it says so. And it's a small medium, but look at that. Look at this belt, you guys. This belt, I don't know where it came from. It's missing a couple of little stones, which is probably how it ended up here. But this belt had to have been not cheap. It's real leather. It's not cracking or dried out yet. The bling is so nice on this belt for a buck and a quarter. My friend Kathy is going to wear this with a jumpsuit in the summer for sure. She always wears like wide leg, beautiful, like cat suit jumpsuits. And I could just see this belt on one of them, like a gray one or a navy blue one. It's a beautiful belt. Great gift for $1.25. Cannot beat this belt. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? For real. So this one is probably one of my absolute favorites so far. I did buy quite a few of this belt because it's a stretch belt and it comes in many sizes. But also, I, like I picked up a few of those. It was originally $9.99 from Rainbow Shops. For $1.25, definitely a nice fashion belt. But I picked up two for myself that I'm not going to use as a belt. As you can see, I've already removed it off of there because I think that this is so fun to put on the Dollar Tree slides. I have a pair of black uh, ones I still have not used, the, the summer ones that you, you guys know. I think that these... First of all, you could put them in a headband. You could put them on your go-go boots. You could put these anywhere you want. Definitely, it would be a really cute headpiece or clip or Halloween accessory, but I'm not doing any of that. I absolutely love, and they're well-made. These stones are stitched in. They're not even glued in, which is impressive. But what I'm doing with this is I'm going to E6000 this right onto the Dollar Tree slides. Yep, you know, the slides that the Dollar Tree sells in the spring and summer that I absolutely love. I'm going to put these on the gray ones, and I think that's so awesome. And if I can find, I have some cameo earrings. I'm going to put the cameo right in there, and these are going to be like my Victorian slides. How amazing is that? For $2.50, you could not possibly bling them any better. Um I might probably get it done sooner than later and maybe even insert it in this video. If not, I will definitely be putting it in my community tab because I am so excited. I love when I can find embellishments or appliques, patches, or like even those appliques that I have currently glued on to my um, lantern for Valentine's Day. Those are not going to go in the garbage. I'm going to sew those onto clothing. I think that things like that are so amazing to be able to get from the Dollar Tree. These are very expensive in crafting stores like Hobby Lobby and Michaels. And when you can get five of them for $1.25 or this plus a belt, I mean, I could put something else on this belt if I want. I could put bottle caps on this belt. I could do whatever I want. 
I just honestly did not want the belt. The minute that I saw that, I was like, that would be so beautiful on the Dollar Tree slides because the gray ones have like a, a very distinct gray and the black will really kick them up a notch. And yeah, I love my idea. I can't wait to have them on in the summer. I'm going to absolutely love wearing them. I'm literally going to wear those around town. <laughs> and then they also had this stretch belt. It's a medium large as well. And it has these gorgeous polka dotted feathers. They're authentic feathers with a little bit of bling in the middle there too. But I actually picked up uh, four of these belts as well. And I'm not donating them. I actually bought these for sort of a similar idea. I'm going to take this right off of the belt. Um, I will not throw this belt away. You never know. Um, it actually comes off totally clean where there's nothing actually on the belt. You could still use it as a plain belt, which I like better than the embellishment that it has. But this could become an epaulet for a coat um, or like a blazer. I, I just love when I find things like this. And I have them in my stash of jewelry and things because you never know like what you could use this for. Maybe I will put this on a pair of boots. Maybe I'll make earrings out of it. I'm not going to make earrings out of it, but you could put it in a headband. I don't know, but I like it. And I know that I will put this on something. I actually could see this going on go-go boots because the feathers are cool, but more than anything, I like the idea of putting it like as epaulets on like kind of a military style jacket, like a vintage military style jacket. I think it would be cute on it. Um, and I love to do stuff like that. I love upcycling vintage things and giving them like a new kind of spin. And I like revamping clothing. That is sort of like, I'm actually very good at that. So when I found these like different textures and you know, you could put this on a gift. If, if you get invited to a wedding anniversary or something, this is just a pretty thing to even put on a package. It only cost me $1.25. At the end of the day, the belt doesn't even have glue on it. So I can donate the belt. And I'm keeping this because I don't really think anyone's going to wear this as a belt. But I could put it on a hat. Definitely would look fantastic on like a wide brim hat. It would be really cool. So... I just like it as an embellishment and who knows what I'm actually going to do with it, but I will do something with that. The next belt that I bought actually is kind of a cool belt and it's very big. Um, it actually fits me, which is sort of like amazing, but I didn't buy it to wear it as a belt. It's kind of cool because it's also adjustable. Let me show you guys because it's like a one size fits all belt. So you can adjust the length that you wear this belt at. But what I was thinking I was going to do with this belt, can you guys guess what I'm going to do with this belt? And I think it's going to be amazing. I have a vintage clutch. It's very boxy. It's like a black vintage, very cool clutch. Um, it used to have a strap, but it had one of those 80s straps that honestly, I don't like them. I don't like thin strap bags. So I thought, and I wear it a lot when my husband and I go gambling to a casino or something like that. I like it. It's just a simple evening clutch. Very, it's made of very nice leather. It's very vintage and very fabulous. And I thought to give it like a new, new life, because I've already given it a life. It's gone gambling with me many, many years. Um, it's my favorite. It's like my lucky gambling bag. But um, honestly, we haven't gone gambling in a while. Maybe we will go this summer. But I was thinking that when I when you open the clutch up, obviously I can glue anything I want into it really easily with some E6000 on the inside of it and um, just put a piece of like velvet over it so it doesn't look ugly. Very easy, super easy, easy. And then this will be a strap, like a beautiful adjustable strap for that gorgeous leather clutch. Isn't that a great idea? And it's like chain metal. Isn't that so amazing that I got that for $1.25? If I scoured the internet looking for straps, because I have actually thought about making a strap for that bag many times. And then I buy a bag and I fall in love with the bag that I have and I don't want to cut the strap off. It's cute. I'll give it to someone. It's still usable. But this is a belt. 
its longevity is to stay a belt or become a strap for my bag. So isn't that amazing that you could get something like that for $1.25? It's just so cool that it's chain metal. I mean, you guys, this... This kind of stuff, when you're looking for it, is not a dollar. So I love to buy things like this and just play with them and give them new lives. And this definitely is mine. I bought a couple of this belt as gifts for some friends. It's highly adjustable. You guys see that? It's basically like a slinky. But it is really a nice belt to wear with an evening kind of outfit. And I know... I know my friend Kathy will definitely like this belt. She loves belts. And it does have that like kind of studded, a little bit punky embellishment in the center. I really like this belt. It actually fits me. It could fit anybody. Um, it says medium large, but it fits just about any size you want to put it to because it is like a slinky. And it, it's really, it's actually fun to play with it. It's almost like a belt and a toy. So I picked up two of these. Because I thought that they were kind of exceptionally nice for $1.25. Really nice. One's for my friend Kathy and one is to donate. Well, Dollar Tree says, I just can't sometimes resist a good deal. This gaudy pearl, super 80s looking belt. Honestly, I love it. I don't care. I love it. I really love it. I think that this will look so nice in the winter with like a black sweater or something as a necklace. It, it's huge. You can wear it as a belt, but there's something about it that I just really like as a necklace. I think it's really fun. If you just wrap it around, look at the cool necklace that it makes. I mean, I'm not wearing obviously the right clothing for it, but with the right clothing, it has, it's like a layered necklace and it would look really nice. And it was a dollar 25 and it has pearls. You could wear like cool pearl earrings. Oh my gosh. I forgot to wear earrings today. <gasps> I can't believe it. I never forget to wear earrings. That's like the second time lately. I've forgotten to wear earrings. Wow. That is so crazy. And I'm showing all these accessories. That is so random, right? But with pearl earrings and this as a necklace, you have like a statement piece for $1.25. I couldn't resist it, you guys. And look at all the different chains that are in it. It has like rhinestones and this big giant chain link chain. And then this smaller chain link chain and the pearl one. I literally love the idea of wearing this as a necklace. And I could still wear it as a belt if I want to. But I really love it as a necklace. I definitely love this belt. This belt reminds me of summer and beach weather and espadrilles and all things beach related. I just love it. It actually fits me. It doesn't fit me with a lot of room to spare, which I wish it did, but I still had to get it because I think it's so nice and I really, really love this. You could probably do a DIY with this belt too, but I'm going to wear this belt. I think it's beautiful with a summer dress absolutely perfect for summer and I can't wait to wear this belt with my wood earrings I love it and again I'm not I'm about to go put earrings on I can't believe that I'm not wearing earrings I picked up this genius belt as well now I call this a genius belt it's not real leather it's faux leather and it's like snake skin and this is the gold side as you can see and this is the silver side it's just a slight variation but if you have a gold outfit or a silver outfit you need a matching belt obviously well here's the amazing thing about this belt it has this beautiful bow which is so cool and it's reversible do you guys see that now is you just here i'll show it to you again it's so cool for a buck so and once you flip it to the gold side it actually kind of goes with the gold and when you flip it to the silver, it kind of goes with the silver. It's sort of amazing. And for $1.25, I thought that was a really awesome item to pick up. The kind of thing that you would wear with some wide leg pants and like a long shirt tunic maybe over it to accentuate your waist. And it's just very classy. And the fact that it could be gold or silver just makes it so versatile. Really a nice item, I think. And if you have like snakeskin like, I actually have snakeskin flip-flops. It's a big belt, by the way. This is a plus-size belt. So I just really like it. I can totally see myself wearing this um, with my, like, snakeskin 
uh, sandals and I really love it. I think it's going to be awesome in the summer. I do have several of these plus size. Um, see that they're plus size, which is amazing. Red leather. And it even has the little, and it's soft. It's nice leather. Look at that really nice quality leather. It says genuine leather and it says made in China, genuine leather. I don't care where it's made. It's genuine leather and it feels really good quality leather. Not going to tear apart in half overnight. It's a perfect jean belt to wear with your jeans on the 4th of July with some red flip flops and red stuff in your hair and just red, white, and blue. Perfect belt. I absolutely cannot believe that you can get something like that plus size, which is usually more expensive, originally 16 bucks. Go ahead on the internet and type in red leather belt. You're not getting it for under $30 in a 1X. So wherever this was for $16, it was a steal. But for $1.25, I'm all over this. I bought, I bought, actually, I've bought them in every store I found them in because they have them in a lot of stores. And I'm going to donate this. A lot of the women in the shelters are plus size. And it's hard to get plus size donations. So this is brand new. And it's a, a people need belts. This is amazing for a buck and a quarter. I did obviously put my earrings on in case you guys didn't realize it. It was driving me crazy. I'm going to try to get through the rest of these belts quickly. These, some of these belts are actually more than others. Look, this belt right here is a plus size from the store Ashley Stewart. It was originally $19.50 and I love it. I don't think that there is a thing wrong with this belt. Look at those beautiful, beautiful bronzes and all those metallics. This is gorgeous to wear with an all black outfit in the summer. Or if you have one of those gypsy tiered dresses with spaghetti straps, put this right on in the center. And now you have like a blinged out summer gypsy look with like some brassy earrings. I love it. And like metallic slides for $1.25, you totally changed the look of your clothing. I love that. And I would buy this belt probably on clearance in Ashley Stewart. I really like this belt. So yeah, of course, this is a no brainer. Plus size clothing by Ashley Stewart at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. I am all in guys, all in. Then I saw this belt and it's also from Ashley Stewart and I picked it up because again, red, black and that beautiful little metallic accent will change an outfit completely and it's folded in. It's actually a very large belt. It's really, really nice, beautiful. Love that like large block print look to it. It's very summery to me. Here's another plus size belt and look at the bling on this belt, you guys. Crazy, right? Isn't that crazy? This belt, I don't think it's glued on. It's put on there so well that it's not even coming off and it's like hinged. It moves. It's so beautiful. Stretches. It's plus size. I'm going to wear this in the summer with some kind of a dress or something and change it up. I just think it's amazing for $1.25 with all of that gorgeous blinginess. How am I not going to get that? Then you guys, I found this super retro looking lip belt and um, the buckle does not snap open. But if you wanted to switch this out to like a hot pink studded belt or something like that, you could cut it and put the actual hardware onto one of those belts that snaps open, which I may do. The belt is actually plus size, but I think it would look so awesome on a hot pink belt or like a magenta belt or even a black belt. I don't know, but I just love that it has lips. I think it's so funny, hilarious, and awesome. And it's really cool. It's a very cool belt. Really couldn't believe I found that either. It's really campy. This is another Ashley Stewart belt. Isn't that also beautiful? I love it. I have some bronze slides that this is going to look gorgeous with. I absolutely love that. I just love these belts. I am really excited about having all of these new looks to some older outfits. It's amazing to me. I picked this one up for my friend, Kathy. Now this is a little bit of a 
project because I think that this actual belt is really pretty actually. It's like tropical. They're not pot plants, although it looks like they are. They're like rockabilly stars. And do you guys see how cool that is? It's like a cool studded belt, but I don't like the buckle. I don't really like the buckle that it has, but here's the cool thing. It was originally from Rainbow Shops and it was $8.99. See, that's a Rainbow Shops tag. But here's the thing. This buckle snaps right off. You see that? Those are the kind of belts that I'm talking about that have the snappy little thing. And then I found this belt, which actually is a plus size and fits me, but I kind of want to make this gorgeous belt for my girlfriend, Kathy, because I think that will be so beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? That looks like a high-end belt and it's not. So for $2.50, I'm going to cut this belt open because this is not one of those belts. This one was originally from Rainbow Shops too. And this one was $6.99 and the other one was $8.99. So for $2.50, I'm going to make my friend Kathy such a pretty, pretty belt. I, and I feel like that will look gorgeous with her jeans year round and some boots. Isn't that beautiful color combo? It just goes so beautifully. I picked this belt up for my friend Kathy also, and it's in a size small, medium. It's from the store Dots. This is such a cute belt as well. It was originally $8, buck and a quarter at the Dollar Tree. Definitely an adorable belt. She's going to love it. I know I've taken too long, but I'm almost done. Um, I also picked up this fun belt for a friend of mine. It is leopard print and silver and blinged out and crazy, but very, very cool. Do you guys see that? It is really a cool accent piece. If you can wear it right, it's amazing. I really like that too. And then I found this belt and it's also a plus size. Um, it is a 2X. Do you guys see that? It's got all these cutouts and like bronze stones. It's much larger than you would expect it to be. It's a really big size and it lays on my hips. And I really, really love that. So I think that that's a really great buy as well. I could be living in the 90s still, but I really love that buckle. I think it's very nice for $1.25. I love it. These are the last few belts. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this belt, but it wasn't staying in the store. I'll probably donate it. If it's not too big for my friend, Kathy, it says that it's a small medium, but it actually runs kind of big, uh, more like a large, extra large, but it's a little too small for me. I absolutely love the bling on this belt. It's really beautiful. Isn't that nice? It looks like it was definitely more than $1.25. Then I bought this belt because it's a 2X and I could do so much stuff with that. It's really nice. It could go with so many different outfits. Just a classic stretch belt, but it hangs a little low. You could do a lot of things with it. Then I did buy several of these. They're actually wrapped in plastic. Uh, they are plus size belts braided. That's just a classic summer belt, you guys. Classic. I mean, you cannot go wrong. I'm going to donate those. They're amazing. I'll probably keep one for myself. And then this is my absolute second favorite belt of all. How cool is this belt? I already know I have this really gorgeous dress that I like to wear in the summer with like spaghetti straps that I'm going to pair this up with in the summer. It is so pretty. I'll wear it in the evening somewhere. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous belt. For $1.25, yes, Thank you. I love it. Absolutely love that. I love bling, guys. I can't help it. I did pick up a couple of each of these seasonal soaps because I usually send them out to friends and loved ones. I think it's just a cute little thing to give people in the mail that you may not see for the holidays with some other goodies from the Dollar Tree. Um, by ABI, now they have, this is like a new Dollar Tree type brand, but this is the company that is now making their seasonal soaps, ABI, and the little chick's scent is, oh, it doesn't say, hmm, that's weird, it used to say the scent on the little chick, it doesn't anymore, I'm gonna smell it, wow, it doesn't smell like it did last year, it smells like lemon dish detergent 
It smells like lemon for sure. I wonder what this one smells like. This doesn't say anything either. Hey, you know what? I'm kind of upset about that. It does not have a scent. Do they have the same scent? Was anybody else upset about this? You guys watch more hauls than I do. Hold on a minute. What's happening here? I am very upset. Um, yeah, these are not like they used to be. These are totally different. Wow, this is, it's like dishwashing liquid. It doesn't smell bad, but I'm remembering that they had a really nice seasonal scent to them. One of them was like carrot cake and these smell like lemon dish detergent. Wow, wow, I'm very disappointed, guys. I'm sorry, but I'm shocked that they did that. This is a big seller, and I guess they figure nobody cares what the soap smells like. Everybody uses them for the dispenser. Um, and the truth is, that's why I don't need them, because I have the dispenser, so I could just refill it. But, I mean, you might as well refill it with your dish soap, because that's what it smells like. I don't know how I feel about that. Let me know how you guys feel about it. And if you found those to smell strangely like dish detergent, leave a comment down below about that, please. I'm very, maybe I'm just being hypercritical today, but I'm usually not. I try to love everything that I buy from the Dollar Tree, but this, I was expecting it to be like a fun scent from Easter, like last year. Ah. Sometimes you eat the bear, sometimes the bear eats you guys, and that's just the way of the Dollar Tree. <laughs> For those of you who watch my walkthroughs, you saw that I found this at the Dollar Tree. I have no clue what it was doing there. Um, it has this cute little, really well made. Immediately I knew that this was definitely better than Dollar Tree stuff, I have to admit. It says, you had me at meow, and it has this clip to put your cat's picture, and it has this little thing in the back and to hold it onto your dresser or whatever and it has the metal bar to hang it off the wall if so you choose but you guys this is originally from Michael's I do not know how this ended up at the Dollar Tree but it rang up and I bought it and I was very excited about it because I'm also going to give this to my friend Kathy because she is a true cat lady and she's going to love this thing I picked this DVD up just to show my son like what older TV shows are like, it is The Three Stooges and Abbott and Costello, Our Gang, and W.C. Field. W.C. Field was pretty racy for his time. But I just wanted to show Chris. I'm only going to watch it once. He's never even seen The Three Stooges. And I actually kind of always talk about them because I'm really clumsy and sometimes I feel like I'm one of the Three Stooges. So I always call myself that and he doesn't know what I'm talking about. So I was like, ah, for $1.25, one night when we don't have anything else to watch, I'm going to force him to watch this with me for a little while. He'll get sick of it and be like, mom, this is stupid, but he'll remember it. And at least he'll know, at least he'll know what I'm talking about when I say, oh my God, I'm like one of the Stooges. <laughs> I don't know if anybody out there saw this movie with Brad Pitt and Kate Blanchett, but this is a good soundtrack. Like, you can get lost in this soundtrack, you guys. So, honestly, Google. Google the soundtrack and listen to it on YouTube. And then you'll understand why I could not resist it. This is a really good soundtrack. In fact, I couldn't believe that it was $1.25. I was like, wow. Because I remember when I was watching that movie thinking to myself, this is a killer soundtrack. And like using my husband's iPhone to like find out what songs they were and whatever. Because I didn't know all the music on it. But it's a very, very, very good soundtrack. And I'm really excited that I have this. I showed these a million years ago. And I absolutely love them. These jars are literally gorgeous. Both the clear and the green glass. Very, very nice. You could do so many things with them. Do you see how big they are? They are not your typical Dollar Tree sized glass. And um, the Dollar Tree has been upscaling the size of their items. Actually, they're trying to give us 25 cents worth more, I think. And this is no exception. You could do so many cute things with these. Um, outside, you could put lights in them. You could put flowers in them. You can hang them on planter hooks. So many awesome things. 
I have so many plans for these. I have lots of pothos cuttings that I'd like to put in some water and root. And I think that they will look really cute hanging on hooks while they're growing some roots for themselves. So I might do that. I might do that with the clear one and put some pretty blue stones in the bottom of it. And with the green glass one, I'm actually, my husband and I upcycled an area of my house, a corner area that um, I did talk about for a long period of time in a few videos and I still haven't shared it with you guys because I'm not done like completely adding my little touches to it. But I think I might hang this on an S hook from the um, old shutters that we upcycled into a pot rack and put utensils in it. That might be a good use for this. I love the green glass. It kind of matches the color that we painted it, the chalk paint. So I just hung the green glass jar on a wreath hanger and I attached a bunch of pretty flowers and I feel like it gives me pioneer woman vibes. I'm probably going to put like a cute sign up here. It's a work in progress, but I just keep my plastic utensils in here and I absolutely love that. So, um... Yeah, I bought a couple of those. This is from Christmas. It rang up 25 cents. I bought it because my son loves this candy. It is mini sour candy canes, but they don't taste anything Christmassy. They taste like fruity candy, super sour. For 25 cents, I had to get it. It was a great deal. I did find at my Dollar Tree these amazing cushy foot microfiber leggings. I've bought tons of them at this point. I went everywhere. It seems like the size is here underneath where they're labeled for resale. So if you can't find the size, look under here. Most every pair I found so far is medium, which fits sizes um, 115 pounds to 165 pounds, five foot to five foot eight. And these are microfiber leggings. I mean, for a buck and a quarter, you can't go wrong, guys. For real, that's a broad size range. They're a great donation. And I've also found these. And now these are impressive because these are gold toe fashion leggings. You see this pretty gray. It, it actually matches the gray kind of heathered print in my uh, sweater, my Valentine sweater from Torrid, by the way. Um, and these are originally $24. But what we don't realize about these leggings and why I actually suspect that they ended up at the Dollar Tree because they are very wonderful. This is sort of like a packaging boo-boo that ended up in, you know, luck for us because these fashion leggings by Gold Toe, that's all it says here. You would assume they're just plain leggings. They're not, you guys. When you take them out and further investigate them, they are fleece-lined leggings. So it's like crazy warm leggings that will keep you crazy warm in the dead of winter. That is an amazing item to pick up at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. I mean, look at that, a buck and a quarter. My goodness, those are thermal leggings. It's really a beautiful style legging. It will look really nice on with some boots or some ankle boots and a tunic. You cannot go wrong for a buck and a quarter, guys. That is an awesome legging, especially if you live somewhere where it's freezing. When I saw these, I got so excited. I picked up several. These are eucalyptus scented brooms, and, and guys, they smell amazing. I, I literally love the scent. It's kind of like eucalyptus and cinnamon together. I'm not gonna lie, but it smells amazing. It's very strong. And that's what the package looks like. You see, it does say, it, it does only say eucalyptus, but honestly, it's like they put eucalyptus on top of a cinnamon broom. I don't mind it though. It smells good. It smells like, it smells like Noxzema and pumpkin pie. Like, kind of like when I wash my face off after Thanksgiving and I have my dessert by myself when I get home, my big slice of pumpkin pie. That's what it's kind of reminding me of. Okay, so all kidding aside, it really reminds me of the smell of Noxzema and pumpkin pie. <laughs> That's what it smells like. Like I can imagine coming home after like driving a long way to get home from Thanksgiving with family and cleaning my face with Noxzema 
and having like a big hunk of leftover pumpkin pie or like a piece of pumpkin pie that I brought home because I just couldn't fit any more food in because I ate so much turkey. So yeah, it's like Noxzema and cinnamon. Smells really good though. I can't stop smelling it. I'm, I'm like about to put it under my pillow. I, I really like how it smells. I love cinnamon foodie, cinnamon pumpkin-y yumminess and the Noxzema eucalyptus menthol healthy kind of aspect to it makes you feel like it's really good to breathe in. And I've been having a lot of breathing issues, so I really like that. I have so many other items to share with you guys, but it's going to be a to be continued. But I do have to share these with you because these blew my mind. I can't believe that we got this at the Dollar Tree. Um, this is the Chapstick Total Hydration. And when I saw them in my walkthrough, I freaked out. This is Chapstick Total Hydration Lip Balm and Sunscreen. It's a moisture plus tint plus SPF 15. And most importantly, it says that it is 100% naturally sourced ingredients. You guys, I don't, I don't know if you could see that, but it says that there, which I think is kind of amazing actually. And the colors are um, pretty in pink and very berry, which is like a darker pink. So we're gonna take a look at that. I love this packaging. I've bought these. I actually really like this. Look at that. Look, that's like lipstick, guys. That is a nice lipstick to wear to the beach. Have a little SPF. You're, that's beautiful. That's really beautiful. I am really it, like in love, but it gets better. There is also the Pretty in Pink. I'm going to swatch that too for you guys. I have a feeling I'm not going to love it. So we're going to swatch the Pretty in Pink as well. Again, the packaging is phenomenal. Let's take a look at that. What? How amazing is that? This is lipstick that is chapstick. I love this. I love... Now, like I said, I've bought these before. So I'm not like amazed that they exist. I'm amazed that they exist at the Dollar Tree because these are expensive. When I bought that, I was, I bought it begrudgingly and I bought it in the summer when I was in a beach town because I, the first day that I went to the beach, my lips really got burned. So I learned my lesson, but then this one sounds the best to me. I hope that I've never tried this one and this one, I mean, this one really sounds good to me, you guys. Chapstick Total Hydration Moisture Plus Tint Hint of Color 100% Naturally Sourced Ingredients. Um, this one has jojoba oils in it and rose hip. But first of all, let's just get into this color. Marlo, I am obsessed with it. Lately, the Dollar Tree is just giving us everything wine. They just want us to turn into a bunch of winos. Have you guys noticed that? They gave us the hair stuff with wine in it. Everything is wine, wine, wine. But Merlot, I'm, I'm taking it. You know what's so weird? You, you, you can't really tell what the difference is between them by their packaging. But these are not sheer. They are actually opaque. You see that? The color is opaque. But the Merlot is sheer, which is okay. I still love it. I literally love, let's try it. That tastes like candy. It's definitely moisturizing. My lips were a little dry because I had on a um, lipstick that doesn't come off, but the Merlot is sheer. So you can probably put it over any color. I mean, it's not sheer, but you guys see what I'm saying. It's got like a light tint to it, but the other ones are actual lipstick. Like, they're lipstick. You could get away with wearing them as a lipstick. But the Merlot, it's it's definitely, I put a lot of it on. On the other ones, I just put one swipe and it's like, you could see the color. So this is basically, yeah, if I just do one swipe of this on my hand, you can barely see it. So this one is more of a sheer, which I am kind of sad about, actually. I was excited. I thought it was going to be like, popped out like that and be chapstick all at the same time. But I'm going to see if they make this one. See, now this is why I love buying these things and swatching them. 
I'm going to see if they make one like this in this color because this is something entirely new to me. When I did get this, uh, when I went on vacation years ago and I did buy one of these at like a convenience store, I, I paid like $11.99 for it. And the color that I got at the time was like a peachy orangey color that I, I think they also have that one in the Dollar Trees right now, but I haven't found that one. But I just got it because my lips got chapped on the beach, like I said. But, um, yeah, I'm going to look into that because I would like to find one of these in like a bright red because it's actually lipstick that you can wear on the beach and it's totally hydrating because it's chapstick. So those are kind of exciting. And another item that they have is this chapstick total hydration exfoliates and smooths for soft, beautiful lips naturally sourced ingredients contains vitamin e and coconut oil and this is lip scrub and you guys look no further this is by chapstick this lip scrub is oh it's called sugar plum conditioning lip scrub this lip scrub is going to be amazing you know it is because it's by chapstick so it's like a no-brainer don't just find this one. You will never be disappointed with chapstick. I can honestly, from the bottom of my heart, say that and know it. Because I love, I am a firm chapstick user. I always use peppermint chapstick year round. I have to find it at winter time and stockpile it for the year. And when I don't have it, I get devastated. I want to try to hurry up and show you guys a few more items so I can actually use them. I want to put these on my mantle and I've been waiting patiently to do so. I bought every single one of them because I love them. Absolutely love those. How could you not love these? They are so cute and I mean, these are so cute and you could use these year after year or you can put them in a little girl's room on a shelf. They are absolutely adorable. Cutie pie, be mine, so cute, love, and XOXO. You cannot beat this price at $1.25. These are wonderful. Then you guys, I did get this high pro notebook sleeve in this army green uh, it does come in other colors, but I picked this up for my son for his Chromebook. It's like the perfect size. It's really well made. Actually, really well made. But then, after I saw these, I realized how silly I was. I should have bought an extra couple of them for when I'm traveling to put makeup palettes in them. So, the next time I see these, I'm definitely going to pick up another one. And I did see that they also come in purple. I would love to find it in purple. That would be fun to put, like, if you're traveling... Just put your makeup bag inside of here and put your palette flat so nothing happens to your eyeshadow palettes. How awesome is that? For a buck and a quarter, it's money well spent. Lately, the Dollar Tree is starting to let us have some good hair stuff, guys. And I am definitely all in with that. Uh, by Garnier Fructis Wonder Mask Long Lasting Repairing Hair System for up to four washes, plus amla extract. I don't know what amla extract is, but I know Garnier Fruit Tea smells and works amazing, so I picked that one up. It's a two-step conditioning treatment. So basically, you apply step one, and then you apply step two right after. You wait three minutes, and you rinse it out. That's easy peasy. And then I did pick this one up as well, and it is a Garnier Fruit Tea Wonder Mask Long Lasting Nourishing Hair System up to four washes uh, plus coconut oil. And it's also two steps. Now, I have heard people say that this is not worth it. I, I don't know what world we're living in because these are like expensive at CVS. These are not like sample sizes or anything crazy like that. These are hair masks to restore your hair to some past level of wellness. So, I mean, you guys know what masks are, obviously. Most everybody knows, but... So, just to dispel the myth, I actually used um, this one, the coconut oil one, when I last washed my hair with the Thicker Fuller Hair. I used the Thicker Fuller Hair Shampoo. I put the Thickening Serum into my hair, and I used this, and I loved it. It smells great. It works great. I've... I, I have heard a lot of people say that these are not hair masks and they're not worth $1.25. They said that they're just conditioner, but they're not. I Googled them 
Um, Garnier Fructis does not make this in this specific combination in a conditioner, but like a big bottle. This is a hair mask, which is different than regular conditioner. So um, I just want to say that I don't agree. This is definitely a good deal, I think. And uh, I love to buy things like this. So um, Google it, you guys. It's definitely more money. It's like up to five, six dollars in other stores. So for a dollar twenty-five to like give your hair like a little extra oomph and a little luxury, you know, hair repairing and sealer and whatever, it definitely nourished my hair. I feel like it did give my hair a really nice conditioning treatment. There's no frizziness. I really like it, and I don't think it's just regular conditioner. I, I anyway, I just. I don't want to get nuts. The point is, I think it's definitely worth a buck and a quarter. And it is a hair mask. It is not just a sample size conditioner. There is a difference. So these two items are my last couple of items to share with you guys. Last but not least, guys, after that tirade, last but not least, <laughs> I do have these carabiner pop snap clips. And I love the butterfly, of course. Where is this going to end up, you guys? Take a guess. It's a butterfly. And I love the rubber ducky. I just love yellow. I love, I actually love rubber duckies. I always show rubber duckies in my video whenever the Dollar Tree has them. And I know people are like, why is she showing the rubber duckies? Because I love rubber duckies. I just think they're so adorable. So I did pick this up actually for my beach tote in the summer. I think it's cute. <laughs> I just think it'll be really cute. I think it'll be super cute to hang this off of my denim beach tote in the summer because you know the denim blue and the pretty pretty yellow it'll set it off and I'm really excited it's gonna make me want to get yellow flip-flops for the beach because I just love that little rubber I actually love this silly little rubber ducky but it is a snapper and definitely good satisfying popping sound let me see if I could record it isn't that cool? I could see people doing that all day. I could. Well, guys, that's it. I can't possibly cram any more stuff into this haul. While I am talking to you guys right now and using up some space on the video recorder, I will be inserting after I'm done with this video and I count up all of the entries into my um, friendship giveaway. I'm going to be inserting the winner of the friendship giveaway in here. So you guys won't be seeing my face, but you'll be seeing the winner. Congratulations to whoever you are. Wow. The winner is Melissa from Issa Life. Don't Congratulations. If you guys didn't win because there will be many more giveaways to come. You guys, I'm always doing giveaways because I'm always finding awesome things that I just can't help but share with you awesome people. So please be subscribed to my channel to be eligible to win a giveaway and um, like this video and share it with your friends to get them in on the action. Maybe they'll win a prize and share it with you. So as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.